Hello and welcome. Our play tonight is called A Silent Panic. Dupont, Nylon, Orlon, and Dacron. The modern fibers you know best present The Dupont Show. With June Ellis. One of the exciting things about television is the chance to do the unusual. Not only with our stories, but with our guest stars. This week it's our pleasure to present a very great comedian in his first dramatic role, Mr. Harpo Marx. And starring with Mr. Marx, Mr. Ernest Truex. First, let's see what the men on the campus are wearing and what they would like to have as Christmas presents. Silver? Oh, I'm delighted. How do you do? Oh, it's terrible. It's just plain terrible. You are inside? Oh, thank heavens. Hmm. I think he saw the whole thing. Him? He saw it? They say he looked like he did. He didn't tell me. He's a deaf mute. How do I know? But doesn't he read all right? Mr. Policeman, Lieutenant, I don't know what happened outside. I don't know even about him. Last week, no. Last Tuesday, he walks in. I never saw him before. He could have come from Mars. He probably didn't. But you heard him. <sighs> he told me, I mean, he, he gestured that he's deaf and dumb. Oh, I felt sorry for him, but why me? Will you tell me why me? And then he asked uh, that a uh, machine man, and it's good for business. Uh, uh, people walk in front of the store window, and uh, they stop. They look, it's our best season, it's Christmas, and they walk in and buy. Thanks. Did you see it? Well, 
least he don't talk back. Get over there. guys take him down to the station house. We'll have to get an expert on sign language. I guess he never learned. Well, thanks. Man, what it must be like. It's like in solitary only all his life. Locked up tight. Well, where do we start when you get no description? Come here. Yeah, come here. That's that idea. What, what did he wear? I'm... Yeah, I didn't expect him to be a Rembrandt, but well, he could sketch a feature, a scar, start with something. Well, uh, it's about him, and it's kind of creepy to be talking about a guy like he ain't here when, when he is. All right. Uh, well, they ran the check. On him, I mean. Uh, he's an orphan. He was born that way. Uh, his name is Benson, if it matters. Uh, I guess he picked up the act uh, in a carnival. When he was a kid, he traveled with an uncle who owned one. The guy's dead. The uncle. All right, look, would you drive him home? At least we know where we can find him until Christmas. Then we can bring him in if there's a lead to work on. Well, would you come with me? Uh, thanks. I...